Hello children, welcome to our world through English. So in the previous session we talked about the simple present tense. So where we have to use simple present tense. I've given you four places. One is our routines and habits we will use simple present tense. And next where we use simple present tense about facts, next permanent situations and fourth one is states. And I've given you a lot of examples. I hope that you have been understood very well about the topic. Now we are getting into the second tense. Very clearly we can talk the second tense. So number two, second tense. Present continuous. So in the present session, we are discussing about present continuous tense. So where we have to use present continuous tense? Okay, children, let me give you uh, a simple variation. Wait, wait, wait. Not present continuous. I will teach you about past continuous. Sorry, past simple. Present simple we discussed, right? So now we will discuss about past past simple means um, both are very uh, similar children then it will be very easy to understand okay uh, first one we discussed when we use for permanent situation and everything so the structure will be like this subject v2 Object you can write or no problem that is secondary. So now simple present simple subject v1 past simple subject plus v2 subject plus v2 means past verb. So now that is so where we have to use or when we will use in which condition we will use this one is Completed actions in the past. Completed actions in the past. <laughs> Completed actions. Completed actions in the past. Then we use present sorry past simple when we use past complete acts or complete actions in the past then we use past simple tense for example i'm writing some examples for your understanding then oh, we will go for table already we have been uh, started the table right so we will go for that So, let me talk, let me talk, huh? one more word. So, I, you have to learn verb form, children. I learned present simple yesterday. So what I did, I learned present simple yesterday. I learned. So learned means completed. Yesterday, already yesterday I learned. What we learned yesterday? Present simple. Still what we learned? Present simple. So it is completed action. So one more, we can add any V2s. V2 means past tense. Past any verb you can use sorry they waited for two hours they waited for two hours 
next to V. Don't write these examples. Uh, very simply, I will draw the table. That will be enough. For, okay. Uh, after this, or I also pause to negative. I will give. Okay. Uh, I will tell you. Just copy this one. Or this one also right. Examples are right. Your wish. Your wish. We planned. completed part of speech we completed parts of speech copy this one Next, copy. If you copy that, we will go for continuation of examples. I will teach you uh, some important words which were useful here. Hmm? Right. So I'm going to erase totally because we have to draw the table right. Okay. We know that subject and V2. First past simple and we learned that where we have to use means for completed actions. For completed actions. Now children, see here. Very simply. Okay, Tanu didn't went to Venus house. Oh, Venu house. Okay, Venu. Venus wedding. Tanu didn't went to Venu wedding. Tanu's Venus uh, wedding or Venu wedding, you can write. So, right, see here. Tanu didn't went to Venus wedding, I said. So subject V2 should be there. So subject didn't. It is also a V2. Did, do is V1, did is V2. And again V2. So we should not use a two v 2 side by side. So what we will get here is V1. So Tanu didn't go to Venus wedding. Okay. So when you when you use a did here, we should not use again v2. We have to use v1. Okay, that was a small uh, important word. We have to remember. Okay, another examples. Teacher.
teacher started a new topic in previous class teacher started a new topic in previous cl class v2 so that one copy these two examples then onwards we will go for a, a table table after i will give you uh, exercise to identify the mistakes okay okay uh, you want a question or sorry question from Always play, play, boring. I will write, write. So did, did they write the exam? So copy, negative, positive and question form. So later I will draw the table. Hmm? The more, very simple, you have to know one. If any complete action means we have to use simple pass. Simple pass means subject plus v2 plus object. Copy that. Examples I will draw you. The table I will draw you now. Then we will go for next. Okay. Arise. Okay, let us first write that we write one subjects how many seven so all for all same here no change i y u he she subject v2 v2 uh, what we will write Let me write one example here. I I sang, sing, sang, sang. Sang is V two. I sang a song. I sang a song. I sang a song. We sang. You, he, she, it, all say. So negative sentence using not. 
Not means we should we didn't have any auxiliary verb, so we have to use did for past tense. Didn't sang uh, sing. I already said we we should not use another. I didn't sing a song. So I'm making the line up to here. Next one, question using first D. Did I? Did we? Did you? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No capital letters in the beginning. Because they already started here. Okay. Did I, did we, did he, did he, did you, did she, did it sing, you know? Did it sing a song? Copy. Next exercise, we will go for exercises. <coughs> Positive, negative question. Subject, V2, object. Object is, well, matter is subject, V2. Auxiliary verb, subject, go for. So copy that. Copy the table, then we will go for practicing exercises. Mm. From your textbook, I will give examples. Most probably. Right? Yeah. I will give you fill in the blanks now. Then afterwards, uh, identify the errors. Right? Mm.
Right. Fill the blanks now. So this is call, that is place, this is cut, that is dropped, this is attend. Now fill first simple past tense. So he dash his friends and dash on the ground. So we do subject after we to we have to place we to. So he he call his friends right we to. He called his friends and placed. Already the bracket is given V2. So it is already as usual. You can write. He placed and placed on the ground. Next, she dashed his onion, a piece of onion, and dropped on the bed. So cut V2. Uh, cut it. Eh? Mm. Next, a piece of onion and drop dropped. Mm. On the ground, on the bed. Yes? Many times we will commit mistake here. We will feel that cut means cut it, cut it, like uh, how you call, call, place, place, and we use that call, cut, cut it. But it is absolutely wrong. There was no word cut in English. Because cut, cut, cut itself. So she cut a piece of onion and dropped on the ground. So next, did uh, did they dash the class yesterday? So past tense, question and attend, attended. But what we have to already, here we have a past tense. So we have to use only attend. Okay. Did they attend the class yesterday? So coming for another examples, I will write some sentences. Identify the errors itself. <coughs> Next. Okay, let us see here, this is four examples. First one is, they buy a new car. Uh, we went to a fair and put money on a funny game. And he didn't smile at me. She looks at the flower for 15 minutes. So when you look at the first example, very, very commonly where we commit mistake. They buy a car. So when we are using a V2s or V3s, commonly we use ED for every verb. Uh, closed, played, danced, smiled, looked, dropped, or uh, any word we add ed for v2 and v3. At the same time, here also we will do a blunder mistake when we are using English language. So they buy a new car. So why? Because we thought buy is a v1, 
and bide, bide, V2 and V3. But the word bide is not in English. So the exact verb form is buy, bought. So let me write here buy, bought, and bought. A same one more word we have that is bring. So we also use some word wrong here. Bring, bring. That is a wrong. So bring, uh, brought, and brought. So brought is exact word here. So we went to a fair means exhibition. A fair means a fair and put it. So this is also a wrong word we use. Put it is not there in English. Only put 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 so put uh, money on a funny game he didn't smile at me he didn't smile at me so we already having a v2 here so we should not use another v2 here so the answer is he didn't smile at me she looks at the flower for 15 minutes it is a past completed action so here a look is wrong she looked at the flower for 15 minutes. So that is the end of past simple tense. And tomorrow we will continue with another tense. That will be the end of today's session. Meet you in the next session. Until then, stay home, stay safe, and bye-bye.